Alrighty, uh, let's do a little video here of another finished product. Uh, unfortunately, we're shooting this one inside. I've been waiting for a day where it's not raining, not snowing, not cold. But uh, unfortunately, it's continuing on. So we'll just shoot it in the building here. This is a uh, 2021 Promaster 159 uh, 2500. Uh, gentleman brought this to us a little while ago uh, we're getting it done he's actually coming and picking it up here in a few days so figure we'll get a video shot here on the roof there there is two 315 watt uh, panels uh, giving you 600 and uh, 630 watts there is your we boost antenna and uh, You can see that or not there is a max air fan in the rear and uh, also in the front as we come down here you can see that uh, we installed the 30 amp RV plug there on the driver's side and then we also installed a uh, Wabasto gasoline heater as well So as we come back, this one's a little different design than uh, most of them. We did add an extra seat. Uh, I think he does a lot of computer work. So we added uh, quite a bit of battery storage to this one. As we open the doors here, you kind of get a little look at uh, the layout here. That is a uh, short queen size bed. And as we go down into the garage area, there is a uh, 300 or 3,000 watt Victron Multi Plus, and we've got five Battleborn 100 amp hour batteries, and then we got a Sterling 60 amp uh, DC to DC, and there's our uh, Victron uh, Solar Charge Controller, a 150, and then our Wii Boost. And then this is our uh, fuse box, breaker box, just the standard RV style. And then down here we have our uh, breakers for the 12 volt power that goes to the to the fuse breaker box there. And then we also added a uh, a breaker for the solar panels. Even though I also add a, uh, a fuse on the roof itself just as a little safety precaution and as you can see this one has quite a bit of storage underneath the bed it's not real tall but uh, there's a lot of it under here so I'll shut these up and then we'll go around and take a look at the the front area we did install these uh, half sliders from uh, Van Windows Direct. Uh, we do quite a bit of them. I, I actually like these a lot better than the CL Lawrence windows. Uh, they're not near as pricey as well, but you get a lot more ventilation, I believe, than the CL Lawrence because you have a bigger opening. As you can see, we installed one here on the, uh, the passenger side sliding door. That's a full, full half slide. So you're going to get quite a bit of ventilation through here. So as we uh, open the door here, uh, he requested a uh, little outside table, uh, you know, to set up out here if you're you're cooking or you know entertaining. You have some place to put like a Bluetooth speaker or you know set up some drinks or snacks or whatever, and then. We also added a uh, little flip up table here. So whenever you, uh, not only does it give you an extension for your countertop, but uh, passenger side suite seat swivel, you know, come around, you've got a little bit of a table area there. As we come down, you can see that uh, we did the under cabinet light down here underneath of the, 
little platform and then that this one here is your air intake for your Wabasto heater and then there is your uh, your heat your exhaust for your heater so as we come into the living room area uh, he also wanted a uh, spot for a third person to safely travel so we added a uh, Ford Transit seat that is bolted to a steel frame that's underneath the wood frame of that box that is also bolted all the way down to the floor through the floor and uh, into the structure of the van so that is safe for uh, travel it does have the uh, the shoulder strap seat belt and an armrest and then whenever he gets here he's bringing us a, his uh, 27 inch TV monitor that's going to be bolted here on this wall with a locking swing arm and then uh, once that gets in place so we know where the height of it for him for his comfort is going to be at then we are going to add a shelf that goes hopefully just above that uh, foam block there all the way across just kind of give a little bit of extra storage as you can tell we got the max air fan we painted the the surround around it black to kind of match everything else in here there's his uh, there's his we boost antenna and then you know his upper upper cabinet storage uh, he did want a microwave, so we had one of them as well. He did not want any cabinets at this time or shelf or anything uh, above the bed because he plans on sleeping with his head at this end. So in case he wants to set up and, and read or work while he's sitting in bed or whatever. So he may add that later on. Uh, you know, that's that's up to him if he decides to do that. Or if he brings it back to us either way. But we added some uh, color changing lights underneath of the counter here. Um, and then we also have the uh, USB and USC plug-ins here. You know, I get a lot of people that you know ask why would you do that? But instead of just running a dedicated 12 volt line to the to the plug in or you know put it beside of it so you have a 12 volt USB and I agree with that if you don't plan on running a lot of electricity but if you're going to be using the inverter or have it on all the time uh, all the USB and USC uh, plug-ins they're not going to pull enough power to really make that much of a difference so you know why clutter up the walls with more plug-ins more troubles you know more aggravation we also put the red color changing lights above the seats here they all run off of a single remote as we pan back around here you know it has our uh, 15 by 15 black sink with the faucet um, I do not have the water on right now I have it winterized because it has been outside and uh, it has been below freezing so I didn't want to take a chance of messing anything up before the customer get to see it but you know it's a standard you know spray nozzle a residential um, you can go to any Home Depot you know whatever and get down here we have the six gallon fresh water, six gallon gray water. Uh, we put slam latches on everything as well. We continued the under cabinet lighting down underneath that little toe kick. And then we also added a drawer here underneath this seat as well. That gives you some extra storage.
as we turn back around here facing the bed and you have the door to access the uh, the garage area from the inside and then you have a pantry a slide out pantry here as well and then there's your remote to uh, change the colors on the under cabinet we'll leave them on red I'm kind of fond of that color And then as we get here underneath this cabinet, he also uh, requested a toilet. So we added the, uh, the dry flush uh, toilet if you're not familiar with these. They are much like a, um, a diaper genie. And the fact that uh, it does not have any water any liquid of any kind and whenever you use your bathroom uh, if you're going to use these for just straight liquid you need to put something in there to absorb because uh, unfortunately it does not seal 100 percent so you know, whenever it goes to squeeze just the liquid it kind of forces it up kind of like a, a a pastry bag and forces all the liquid out the top so you need some kind of a medium in there to uh, to absorb it so it can compress it down. As we get back over here on the kitchen side, it does have the truck fridge, 12 volt truck fridge and freezer. That is a uh, TF78 for any of you that are interested. Uh, you can get them at uh, Indel B. And then we also added another uh, slide out pantry. So that's, uh, you know, that's pretty much the end of this little tour. Uh, it is insulated with uh, rock wool. Uh, we do have a very small little alpaca farm and fiber mill close by here we are trying to work with them I would love to be able to offer a uh, another alternative to wool which you know alpaca any of you that uh, have dealt with alpaca or looked into alpaca wool know that it has a much higher R value than uh, standard you know sheep's wool uh, any of you that are allergic to wool if you uh, look into it, the lanolin is what a lot of people are allergic to. Um, alpaca does not have the lanolin issue. So that might be something that you want to look into. It is quite a bit more expensive because you don't get as much uh, yield than you do with sheep. But, uh, you know, that gives you another option for uh, some insulation. So... You know, it's been a long day. I'm filming this, uh, trying to get this knocked out. Because it's supposed to be raining and snowing for the next uh, few days. So, I thank you for watching. If you need help with your project, please feel free to uh, email us at info at Reds Custom Design. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram, all under Reds Custom Design. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I didn't do have the little selfish plug you know please like subscribe share uh, that way you get the notifications but uh, I think that's gonna be the end of this video so thank you for watching uh, safe travels to anyone out there and if you're still looking you know don't don't be afraid to ask ask some questions or shoot us an email thank you bye